Oh, the progressive. That, that's exactly, look at that, did you see that? Hey guys, and welcome back to another Queen Pusher video. So today I seen something up here. I always come in here before I start playing and I noticed the case that normally sits there in a the corner was out here on a playing field. So when I got change, I asked them and what they're, they are doing is you can't keep this one like you can the other ones. But this one right here will be good for 10 credits towards the Bitcoin competition. So, so far I have five. So if I'm able to get this, that'll give me 10 more more, which is absolutely amazing. Outside of that, it's not a lot on here. I mean, obviously you all know that a lot of the stuff that's in the back works its way up, but unfortunately that's about the time that it gets piled. Uh, there's just a stack of hundreds, the 50 is all there. So uh, we'll go ahead and I did the normal buy-in. Important thing outside of getting our money back is to get that. I always get the question from people, what is a buy-in or how much does it cost? And for those that don't know, a buy-in's $400. They give you roughly about $30 in quarters. And that's how they essentially make their money because it's a high risk, high limit queen pusher. It costs a lot to buy in. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, the video I just put out um, had a lot of people, like I said, say all the time, you all have excellent observation. I tried to pile this completely up and I was wasting a lot of quarters on it that way. So a lot of people suggested don't put over, you know, two or three dollars in there at a time. And I think you're exactly right. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. I also get the question a lot is, why don't you bring your own quarters in? And one of the reasons, or the only reason is, yeah, some of these quarters are marked, and I've said that before, but however, it's one of those honor system things, and if you do get caught, obviously, I'm sure you won't be able to come back up here, so if you enjoy this, best to stay honest. There we go, that was a good one. So that's the reason why, technically, yes, you could use your own quarters, and it is tempting, but if you wanna stay, and good graces here if they catch you obviously you'll get in trouble so that's the reason why you don't put the quarters out of your own pocket and again a lot of these are marked so they know what the house quarters are ah that was bad timing there we go place is busy today over to the right so maybe I'll try to work the right side and keep it going towards the middle although that could work though ah. oh man that was a loud ball ah. oh that one on top I agree with everyone that the left side is definitely the best side. That kind of rhymed. A progressive. Oh, thanks. Oh, that, that's exactly, look at that. Did you see that? That was awesome. I, that's exactly what I have asked for I to do every time. I'm glad it finally worked. And see how much damage it did? It knocked that 100 off there. Ah, oh, not so lucky. 
That's our man, good push. So I just did um, about a week into that uh, Australian benefit. Okay, I gotta stop. Australia benefit that I did that I was selling the good luck charms and the uh, painted coins. And I gotta tell you, overnight we sold like 20, 30 units. So what I did is I went to another gentleman that does uh, painted quarters which he's a little bit more expensive to purchase. However, and not knocking the artist that did the first one, but the unbelievable detail that he does is absolutely amazing. So it'll be in at the end of this week. So anyone that make places an order, I'll wait. Oh, oh sweet. <laughs> Sorry, that was loud. Uh, anybody places the order, I'll wait till they come in and then we will, uh, I'll ship those and wait till you see them. That's just unbelievable. But I appreciate everyone's help and everyone's donation and I'll uh, go live and uh, show me donating. It seems like their weather is starting to change a little bit. That's helped too, so. Hopefully, but seems like a lot of the communities have been get together and thinking about Australia and trying to do what they can. So that's that's good. amazing when the world can come together like that. Put aside all the little things and help each other out. See, a lot of people ask me. I don't stop the skill stop when the coins fall down, but see how long it takes to stop it? This thing takes forever. It's not the fastest uh, skill stop out there, so. Ah, oh, man, that thing is stuck down there in the corner. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, wow. All right, all the cash is officially off. Good one. Oh, all right. So this was a definitely good haul. So we got a hundred and let's see, two hundred. So three hundred, three hundred in cash and fifty. So three hundred and fifty. So that only puts us down fifty bucks now. And we're really close to getting this off. That's close too. So let's go ahead and keep on. I'm gonna do the same thing as stack it up. Goal is to try to get that Bitcoin to fall down flat. Get a nice solid push. Ah, somebody hit the bonus. Oh man. Oh, good push. A surprise coming up for the channel here soon. Should be a nice addition for the channel. Oh man. There we go. Will this do it? Oh no. All right.
focus maybe. Oh, so close. Last push. Oh no. All right, let's check and see. All right. So there is something I wanted to talk a little bit about. Um, something that happened to me that really bothered me. But you know, I always talk about bad, negative comments and essentially not putting a lot of thought into it. But the reason why I probably worry more about negative comments than anything is my son, Braden, even against my, my suggestion, he still likes to go on videos and read comments. And when he sees something bad, it bothers him. And he comes to me about it and I always say, buddy, you shouldn't be going there reading that. And even though 99.9% .9 of the people that leave comments are positive and just fantastic people. So I probably made a mistake early on, but I, I've always, I allowed Bray, once he turned nine, to have a YouTube channel. And just recently, uh, I'm not sure if you all follow, but I put stories up on my YouTube page and I had to put a thing that Braden start a new channel and it's basically he, I'm just, he loves spicy food so he orders like, spicy noodles and things like that off the computer or gets them out of the grocery store and him and his cousins challenge each other to see if they can eat it. Uh, Bray, unfortunately just like that, I know it's not for everyone's cup of tea and it's so hard for so many people on YouTube, it's hard to get noticed. So I had asked if anybody wouldn't mind, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but if people go over and you know support his channel if anything just subscribe and you know you can't really you can't comment under youtube's new rules which i kind of appreciate but i had probably about 30 people go over and do that and it truly meant a lot well the other day i was taking bray to school and he had his phone in his hand and he was all sad because he's never had an thumbs down on his videos. Well, apparently somebody that doesn't like me that read that thread went on to Bray's videos and thumbs down every one of them. And I thought, I don't let it get to me when people leave me negative comments, but I thought, what kind of low down person, because they don't like an adult, would go in to a nine year old's YouTube and break his heart like that? I mean, what kind of, miserable person would it be to do something like that? I thought it was the, the ignorant, oh, sh shut up, ah, the most ignorant thing to possibly do. And that goes to show you what kind of people are out there. I mean, if you don't like me, I understand. That's fine, don't watch the channel. And since I've had the channel up for the longest time, probably for the past two years, within a few minutes of the video going up, I always have this one person, it's gotta be the same person that thumbs it down before they even watch the video, because they hate me. And honestly, it's probably one of those people that just hate themselves. So I've never put any thought into it. But I'm guessing it's one of those people. And it really bothered me, because obviously as a parent, anytime you see your child sad or upset, you try to think, what can I do to remedy this? And I've tried to talk to Bray about it, please don't pay attention, but it's easier said than done to do with a nine-year-old. Now granted, probably the easiest way to fix that is not allow your child to be on YouTube, but I just wanted to share that. I'm sure 99% of you all would hear that and say, wow, that's pretty low, <laughs> low someone to do. And it truly was. So I'm asking, I'm, I'm pleading, without having to spend too much effort into finding out who did it, which there are ways to do it. It's been around forever. Please don't do something like that. Not to my son. You don't like me, that's fine. Tell me, let me know, but don't do that to my son. That's so wrong. And I'll throw it out there. I know it's a lot to ask, because I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but if you all could, if you truly enjoy what I put out, if you could please, for my son's sake, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Go over, thumbs his videos up. I know it's kind of, I'm not trying to make something forced, but you know, sometimes just having a happy child uh, is one of the biggest gifts you could give somebody. So if you could throw him some support, that would mean so much to me and, and get his mind off of someone that would do something like that. But anyways, I didn't want to take too much time from it, but that's something really bothered me. I couldn't believe someone did that. All right, so we have a $100 chance towards the progressive. It makes the progressive go up $100, and I got a, a chance into that. Um, so I'm trying something different today. Uh, normally I record in 30 frames a second 4K and just break it down to 1080p, 
Today I'm trying 60 frames a second. So let me know if you think there's a difference in the quality. Um, it eats up the memory cards, the reason why I normally don't do that. But uh, see if you like it better. I know for slow motion it helps out a lot. Just messing with the cam camera quality. Look, that was dumb. All right, let's get this Bitcoin off here. Let's get 10 chances into it. Ah, oh, man. Get it. Oh. Everybody, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you going. Just like with Jack, he went on there and showed him love for his good fun me and now you all, you know, for Australia, went on there. Me and Glenda put, anybody that received one know that me and Glenda hand built all your package for you. The only thing we didn't do is the coins. Um, oh man, I don't know what, that was something big. Oh, that was uh, that one coin. I'll look at it here in a second. So the only thing we ran into a problem was that between the larges and regulars, the size necklace, so I tried to make them all like in between a large and regular. But I truly appreciate all the support and we'll definitely do good things with that. Those funds. Oh man, sweet. Good push. So close. I hope it don't come down and fall on that. I think it's getting, look at this. It's getting caught on the glass. That's all right, we can get it to come off. Push. Oh, almost there. All right, let's get this thing. Ooh. But see, I hit that and see how long it takes a full stride after you hit that button, it still keeps going. So it's almost impossible to stop it. And also, um, I was actually getting ready to buy a brand new coin pusher, a brand new one. And I was gonna use it for myself and wanted to ask y'all what y'all thought about that. Just have a coin pusher at my own house to play. But they told me they're interested in, in buying it. So you let me know what you think. You think I should sell it to them or you think I should, ooh, this has gotta be it. This is it, this is it. <laughs> okay, maybe don't listen to me. You think I should keep it for myself and put, uh, play my own coin pusher videos or you think I should sell it to them and just get an updated version? Which uh, would be cool, I mean I could get the money back for it, go buy it and use it for towards play, but the unfortunate thing, it'd only be like two videos, so. The cool thing is if I have it, I can do all kind of cool things with it and I know it's not the same when you're not actually weighing it, but, be nice to have a different coin pusher. Let me know your thoughts in the uh, description and what should I do with that. I'm in for whatever. This, all right, we're down to about two dollars and quarters. Ah, so close. Maybe that one quarter will do it, and maybe not. That was really high pitched. Ah, uh, that Bitcoin's getting ready to fall. All right, this has got to do it. Oh, it got stuck. Uh, all right, I'm going to play a little bit more than if not, I'm going to go get them. So that's awesome. Ten, uh, 10 plays towards the Bitcoin competition. It goes off next week. Amazing. All right, so we got 40 bucks. I noticed that it's a lot darker using that. Um, got another one of the, I think they're, it's like a dollar coin and a few dollar chips. So now it's, it'll be pure profit. So I'm gonna try to stack this thing up once. I was supposed to have another video that came out today. It was my second attempt of trying to clear out the coin pusher. But it's kind of long, well, it's not kind of long, it is long. And I wanted to give an update on a few things, so I just decided to go ahead and put this one out, record this video. Big push, ooh, awesome. Second wave, ah, oh, man, that Bitcoin's so close to falling off.
So what I was thinking about doing, I had a company, I'm, I'm merchandise should be up now. I have uh, merchandise to Teespring. But I'm, I had a company reach out to me and they can do like for special occasions. And I'd like to get your input on what you all think. I'm gonna try to price it under $20. But what's a cool thing I could put on a shirt or something that you all wouldn't mind wearing or having that I could sell? And like I said, I'll try to price it to where it's very reasonable. Uh, that Teespring is actually really good quality. Uh, me and Bray ordered a shirt and it's I love the quality of it. But give this other company a chance. One thing I like about Teespring is you can set your own price. So I can do coupons, which I do. I have like Joshua 10 and a few places like that says so you 10% off. Um, also, there's a few other ones. I'll have to see if I can get the coupon links and put it somewhere in a video. That was dumb. But have a graphic artist come in and design the shirt for you is really neat. Push. Ah, oh, man, I might have to go up and ask them to pull that off. Man, I was running my mouth and totally missed it. I got a Bitcoin. Someone had asked me, so apparently Bitcoins, these coins said that are representing different levels of currency. I guess they have one that's like half a Bitcoin or something like that. And I'm not sure if, I don't know how that would work. Like if one's a, cause they're all chances, like each one's a single chance. So I'm not sure if there's, they never said like the gold one is more chances. I know outside of this one's 10. So I'll have to find out. We got that, so that's six. And, if, and once we get that one, that'll be 11. So we'll be at 16 chances totally. And another $50 coin. And that. left. Whoa! Big push! Oh. Alright, so not as many coins, but that's alright. Let's They're always good about when things get stuck, they're giving it to me, so I can pretty much consider me that one already. much it's always cool to win something new so got a hundred dollar chip and got that awesome oh. all right got 50 cents left good push oh man I thought for sure that would knock something off All right, one quarter left. Uh. Oh. All right, let me double check. All right, so let me go up here and get them to get this for me. If I did that enough, I bet you that would come off. But let me go and get them to get that for me and then uh, we'll see where we're at. All right guys, so I got some interesting news, but let's go ahead and start off with the cash. So I got, 150 in this, uh, 40, uh, 100, and this is 200, 200, 300, 400, 490. Awesome. So that puts me up $90. So that's cool. 
Now, here's where the interesting thing comes in. This used to, I'm about 90% sure, this used to be the same as the chips. However, they're saying this is $100 into the Progressive now, which kind of sucks because I thought I was up almost 200 bucks. So we've got two more chances to the Progressive. Um, I'll let you know if that changes in the future, but as of right now, this goes towards the Progressive. That's why I'm seeing more and more of these in there. So again, sucks, but whatever. So today we're up a total of $90. I'm sorry, I would have been $190. So we're up 90, which is good. I'm not complaining because I got, bam, this beautiful thing. Now I can't keep it. They recycle it, but this gives me 10 chances into the Bitcoin. That is just awesome. Put the thing shimmering. Back of it. So 10 chances, and we got this one. So that's 11 chances altogether. That's 16 chances for the uh, when the drawing goes off next week. I am super excited if I win that. If I win any of the minor prizes, I'm happy. But I mean, I love, I've always been intrigued by the Bitcoin and the whole mining and how all that works. So that's awesome. And then we got this, dollar coin. So we're up 90. Most important thing, we won what we tried for. Got the uh, Bitcoins, so I'm happy. Short video and uh, come out ahead. So definitely happy with that. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button. That lets me know, it's one of the few ways to know that I'm doing something right. So please, if you can hit that like button. And also, if you're not part of the channel, if you can hit that subscription button, we try to put two videos out a week and it's a pleasure to have all the new people part of the channel. I'd love to have a part of the community. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. No matter where you're at in the world, day, night, evening, whatever, I hope that life is going good and uh, it's a pleasure to have you part of the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon. All right guys. See you later.